And you being dead in sins. There's a past. And the uncircumcision of your flesh. See, that was all of us, brothers and sisters. That was every one of us. We were in the uncircumcision of our flesh. That means sin was in control of our life. Amen. Amen. You being dead in your sins and uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened? See, that resurrection took place. Together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Brother, sister, you don't have to travel to Jerusalem like the crusaders. The crusaders traveled to Jerusalem. So when they got in the land of Jerusalem, they could find salvation. They could find forgiveness. You don't have to make that journey. You don't have to be circumcised physically. It's in Christ now. The circumcision is in Christ. You have a new heart, a new life. You're part of a new kingdom. You're in the new Adam. How do you get out of that old Adam? The Bible says everybody that's an Adam dies. Then how do you get out of that old Adam? Water baptism in Jesus' name put you in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Do you know who you are today? You're trying to figure out who you are? I don't have to re redefine human nature for you based on secular psychology. The Bible tells you what you need. The Bible tells what's been done to you. Continue in this gospel. Continue in Jesus Christ. He gives you fullness and maturity. And completion. He said when he quickened you together with him. Having forgiven you all trespasses, Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. Which was contrary to us. And took it out of the way. Nailed it to the cross. Every one of us had a, a, a certificate of debt. Every one of you. Every one of us. A certificate of debt. And that brothers and sisters. Was a record of all your sins. Of how of every area that you broke his law. It was all recorded in the, in the certificate of debt. Every time you ever had a bad thought. Ever had a bad word. Ever did a bad thing. Every time you broke his law. You had a debt. And the Bible says when Jesus Christ came into the world. Isn't this wonderful that you have and I have been forgiven? Aren't you glad? Can you think about what you used to be before Christ and what God has done for you? He took, he took that certificate of debt and he just whew, removed it completely out of your life. And, 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 and so we have to be careful about talking about your past. You have to be talk, uh, careful about talking about your past. Because that's not who you are anymore. You know, I, and, and I appreciate your honesty and, and I've... I've been uh, with you at times, and, and some of you talk about your past, and you know you, you really you really lose use some really strong terms about you yourself, and those terms may be true, but that's not who you are now. Amen. Say praise the Lord. Praise you're you're not a drug addict anymore. Hallelujah. You're not. You're, I'm not even going to use the terms you use. You're in Christ Jesus. You're a brand new, beautiful creation of God. You're a child of God. You're in the kingdom of God. He is your king, brothers and sisters. Forgiven. I mean, he just took that. He just took that debt. How many of y'all had a debt? Big. I mean, some of your debt was bigger than others. But he just took it. Oh, okay. He just nailed it to the cross. Hallelujah. Taking it out of the way. Amen. Hallelujah. He paid the price. Hallelujah. Everything in this thing. It, you could preach an hour on everything he's saying. Every, everything he's saying. Amen. What Jesus Christ has done for you. Why are you going to try to find something outside of him? Amen. Come on, man. You'll never be satisfied outside of Jesus Christ. He's the only one satisfies. He's the one, the only one that fulfills. He's the only one that completes you. 
You go out there, you can sex it up, and you can drug it up, and you can run with the world. But I'm going to tell you something. You'll be empty on the inside. He's the only one that satisfies. Thank God for his great mercy and grace. He nailed it to the cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. He stripped them, brothers and sisters. The word spoil means he stripped them. He disarmed them. When he went to the cross, those, those spiritual powers that people were trying to satisfy, evil spirits that were in opposition to God, that people were trying to satisfy in a peace. He says, they've been stripped of their power and control over you. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't have to go through life looking over your shoulder, wondering if, wondering if, if, a, if a demon's going to take you captive. They've been captured. You have to know who you are in Christ, what he's done for you. That you're, you might be the weakest saint in the church in your eyes, but you're full. You're complete. You're made right with God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, you may in your eyes look like, you may feel like you're the weakest saint, but the devil trembles when he gets in your presence because you've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And he knows he has no power or authority over your life anymore. They've been disarmed. They've been stripped of their weapons. Jesus Christ came into the world. He made his way to Calvary, made his way to the cross. And when he did, they stripped him. They made an open show of him, a public show of him. Shame and disgrace. They nailed him to a cross, naked on the cross. For all the world to glaze upon in shame. But those principalities and powers didn't know it. That when Jesus was disarmed, when he was stripped and nailed to a cross, they didn't realize it. But when they did that to him, he was doing that to the principalities and powers of this world. And so he says he made an open show of them, a public show of them. They have been disgraced. They have been stripped. They have been disarmed. The Bible says triumphing over them. And that's the picture of the Roman triumph where the, the, the uh, winning general is in the front and his soldiers are behind him. And then behind them are the captives that have been captured, that have been stripped and disarmed of their armors. And they're walking as captives with their heads hung down. And the Bible says Jesus Christ has defeated those principalities and power. He disarmed them. He stripped them when he went to the cross. And now they got their head hung down. They've been disarmed by his power. And so this is what Jesus Christ has done for us. So continue in him. Walk in Christ Jesus the Lord. He's everything you need. Hallelujah. And if you are allowed to have, by the grace of God, a real vision or dream from him, don't make too much of it. I mean, in the sense that you get the big head and no, no, Jesus, I need you and I have you. You need him and you have him. Praise God. I don't need to fall down and worship an angel. I don't, I don't need to go up into the heavens right now. I will, you will in the future, the rapture, but I don't need to right now. I'm already seated there in Christ Jesus in heavenly places. And I thank God. For everything that he has done. So it's in Christ. It's in his circumcision. And we've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. So walk in the freedom. That Jesus Christ has given you. And don't return to the weak and beggarly elements of this world. Hallelujah. From which he brought you out. You're no longer in the shadow days. You are in the reality day. The substance would you stand. So and I thank God. I thank God for his word today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The revelation of Jesus Christ. 
All the fullness of the Godhead is in him and he's made you complete. He's made you full. He's made me full today. And if somebody here today it feels, I mean, you just feel so down. You feel so discouraged. You feel so inadequate. You feel for sure you don't have much self-esteem. I tell you today who you are in Jesus Christ. And walk in that understanding. Walk in that revelation. Focus on Him. He is God. Yield your life to Him and let Him live it through you. Depend on Him. Trust Him. The salvation that you have come into by Jesus Christ. Water baptism in His name. The infilling of the Holy Ghost. That salvation that you have experienced. Don't. Go outside of that to something else. Continue in what saved you and what delivered you. In Jesus' name. Would you lift your hands and just give God praise today for all that he's done for you. Hallelujah, 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 God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you today, Jesus. Worship you. Pray for this church today, God. Strengthen this body. Strengthen your people, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. The enemy comes and seeks to deceive and attack. And seeks to allure people away from the simplicity of the gospel. Lord, we thank you for the truth that makes us free. Today, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. Real good, hallelujah, is my prayer. And I'm just so thankful, so thankful today. I'm thankful today. I'm thankful today. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I'm not trusting in my willpower, but I'm trusting in you. In Jesus' mighty name, lead us into a deeper walk. A deeper understanding of true wisdom and knowledge that we find in you. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. Lord Jesus, let us seek you in prayer and be strengthened in the inner man by your power. We give you all the glory and the honor and the praise and the worship for our salvation, for our new birth. And everybody said in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Before I let you go, how many of y'all been delivered from the powers of addictions? You've been delivered from yourself. (laughs) Aren't you thankful you've been delivered from yourself? I'm thankful. I'm I'm my biggest enemy. But God's delivered me from myself, the world, and the devil. And he that is the gospel. You can't change yourself. He can change you. Be transformed from the inside out. Yield to him. Amen. And you'll see what you want to see in your life. I love each and every one of you. You are dismissed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.